This button 3 has a common anode 4 digit 7 segment LED display as shown here. So that means all the corresponding segments of the four digits are connected together, but the cathodes are different. So we can display only one digit at a time by choosing the desired anode. To display all four decimal digits at the same time, we can use the time multiplexing technique, which displays the digits in a round robin manner. That means it displays uh, this digit for a while, and then it switches to uh, uh, this one, and then this one, and then this one, and then it goes back to uh, the first one. If the switching is fast, then uh, it appears that all digits are displayed at the same time. In this video, we use a four-digit WIPO BCD binary coded decimal counter to illustrate this time. In the circuit, the first digit is driven by an external clock. When it counts, when this clock counts to 10, it will generate a clock pulse and the next counter will count 1. When this digit counts to 10, it generates uh, another pulse which uh, will drive uh, another digit and so on. Here's the Verilog uh, code for the circuit. This is the seven segment display module that we have discussed before. The array DD are outputs to the seven segment LEDs, and WXYZ are the inputs. Here's the BCD motor. It has an output clock next, which is the clock to the next stage, and CLK is the input clock. We have discussed how to build the BCD counter before. The only thing new here is clock next. We increment the counter count for each clock pulse, as shown here. And when count counts to 10, it gives a uh, positive edge as output and resets uh, the counter, okay, as shown here. In our BCD counter, Q are the current four output bits, and D are the outputs to the seven segment LED. Output EN is the enable that synapse one of the four digits. CLK is the external clock from the Spartan free board, and RST is the reset. In the module CKS is the slow clock input to the first stage of the BCD counter and CKM is the clock for multiplexing which should be faster than CKS. And choice here is for selecting a digit. You can see that we can use clock slow 
to create uh, CKS and clock mods to create CKM. Okay. CKS is the input clock to the first stage of the counter, which generates CK nexus zero, which is the clock input to the next BCD uh, digit. Okay. And it generates another uh, clock next, okay, which is input to the next state. And uh, it generates another clock inputting to the next state. So this code is quite straightforward. And uh, at the end, it creates an instance of the uh, seven segment uh, module to, uh, for display. Now here's the code for multiplexing. We have discussed uh, this before. This is the code for uh, clocked slow that we discussed. And here's the clock mods for multiplexing. It's very similar to a clock slow, except that uh, it is uh, faster. So again, this code is quite straightforward. Now we can actually compile this. And uh, uh, lastly, this is the UCF file. And so these are the uh, enables and uh, the RST, the LEDs, false LEDs for the four Q outputs, and this are the seven segments and this is the clock now we have run uh, this code in Spartan 3 we can uh, see this so we can see that it counts okay. And this counts to uh, 10, it uh, triggers the next digit okay, to count up 1, and when this up to 10, it triggers it uh, to count uh, up 1 also. Okay. So, the, so this is uh, how you use multiplexing to display all the uh, four digits. Okay. So you can try this yourself. Thank you. Bye-bye.